Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre. Last time I left off, we rescued Duke Ronway, and people in the comments let me know that if you uh, idle on the screen here, that apparently you get a cutscene that explains some of the factions and stuff. We watched the one cutscene that plays on startup, but I didn't realize there was one for idling as well. So hopefully we can get this cutscene to go ahead and start up for us here without uh, it taking too much time. I imagine it's right at the end of the music, probably right about now? No? Now. There we go. <laughs> it just needed two. The Valerian Isles, jewels of the Ibero Sea. Long a center of naval commerce, the people here have struggled throughout history for dominion over these shores. Finally, there rose a man to put an end to this conflict, Your Galawa Ogre. History would know him as the Dynast King. Dogalawa took the disparate races of men calling the islands home and united them as one. He encouraged marriage between clans, forging bonds to strengthen his newborn kingdom. For fully half a century, the Dynast King reigned, and Valeria knew prosperity. But the embers of discord smoldered. Upon the death of the king, Abuna Branton Morn incited the ruling Bakro to declare the independence of their royal city of Haim. Yet the schemings of the Abuna had only just begun. Backed by the Holy Lodician Empire to the north, Branton created the Buckram Valerian Kingdom, naming himself as regent. He would have seen his rule span the Isles were it not for Lancelot Tartaros, high champion of the Dark Knights of Lodis. Lancelot warned against such reckless expansion, and reluctantly, Branton reined in his troops. This left two clans to vie for supremacy in the south, the Galgastani and the Wallastar. Seven men in ten were Galgastani, and on order of Hierophant Leandor Balbatos, Galgastani declared blood war against the weaker Wallastar in a move to claim the south as their own. Valeria watched as the wholesale slaughter of the Wallastar race began. Duke Judah Ronway led the Wallastar in resistance, but they were far outmatched. In the span of half a year, they had been brought to their knees. Bulbatos proclaimed the kingdom of Galgastan, and with it an official end to the blood war. But these things would bring no end to Wallace's suffering. A piecemeal resistance continued, yet with their duke in chains, efforts flagged. The remaining Wallace were confined to a small province allotted them by Balbatos and the Galgastan. There, survivors resigned themselves to eke out such life as they could. Victory begets peace, and for once, the battlefields of Valeria stood silent. Yet none believed the calm would last. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, that explains an absolute ton. So... Yes, um, the Wallister are effectively being taken over by another group. Um, they were... I, I, I mentioned the idea that maybe they were being colonized, but yeah, they, they've basically just been taken over, annexed, if you will. Um, and the Galgastani are currently over them, so they're, they're living like, you know, in a, in a reserve area for them and everything, and just being treated horribly. So that makes sense. We're part of the resistance with that. Ronway leads it. And then we have Lancelot and Lotus. We have... I, I, I can't quite remember the name of the person that was in charge of the Gagastani. Um, and then we have uh, another person way up here to represent the uh, Bakram. So that's why we were like trying to set the Gagastani and Bakram on each other at the beginning. We're not really affiliated with the Bakram, but... Bakram is affiliated with the Lotus because they've got the uh, Dark Knights helping them out, so they have like a little pact, which is interesting considering uh, they were the ones that almost went at it at the beginning of this whole thing. I love seeing this kind of stuff unfold, this kind of history and things like this. It is interesting. The uh, stuff with Obereth at the beginning, 
really reminds me of like, uh, because I have done a bit of research on uh, Genghis Khan. How do we get back to our menu? There we go. Um, it reminds me of the uh, research and stuff I've done on Genghis Khan. Just the idea of like uniting all of the clans under one banner. Um, Oberon did not then take that banner and go other places and conquer the absolute hell out of them like Genghis did. But, um, you know, he, he tried to he tried to unite everyone. That's a pretty popular idea. Unite all of the clans so that you have a really powerful group um, when you're all together. So there was an item or something I wanted to look at. Um, consumables, maybe? Equipment. Haven't we picked up something called an Oberon? Wasn't it like another currency we got? I swear we did. I swear we did. Like ten Oberons in a a battle. That was like one of the one of the things I got. But I don't know where it would be. We don't have like a we have like an equipment list and an, a consumable item list. I don't know where it would be. Maybe it translates into money, but Oberons are like worth more or something. I no, that wouldn't be the case. I don't know. I swear. I swear we picked up something called Oberons. I hope I'm not thinking of a different game. Um, but yeah, that's probably like currency from you know the old. Um, the old empire and all of that jazz, so. Um, I don't think I'm going to be swapping anyone in my party around quite yet. Um, the only thing I could think of is maybe turning Vice to a Berserker, because that seems like that fits you, um, a little bit. And I do want to use some of my other class things. And, uh, you did get that skill I really wanted, didn't you? Uh, yes, you have Pincer Attack now. You also have something called Mighty Impact. Action. Is it... I guess it's just a really strong attack, huh? Well, um, so is that a... That's a skill, huh? Yeah, that is that is a, a skill. An active skill. Okay. Well then. That seems good to me. So, it causes melee weapons such as swords and axes to score automatic criticals with 100% accuracy. These attacks are not subject... To counter attacks. Uh, okay. You know, you don't really need that because you're not you're not using um those. You know, why don't we just go ahead and swap you over to um uh like I said, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to stop myself from being like, no, I you have to finish off your class before you can swap. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stop that. Lily attacker entirely unconcerned with their own safety. That seems about correct for Vice. Can I even change your class since you're I guess you I guess I can. The Berserker boasts a strong attack but a weak defense. Yeah. Um, you could change the classes of, like, guests in, um, in, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics as well, so. Some games they won't let you, but sure, Vice? Maybe become a Berserker? Never mind. Okay, fine. You know what? I think Berserker is the better class for you, but you know what, Vice? Okay. Okay, sorry I tried to help, you know? Alright, I think I'll just leave everyone else on what they are now, then. Um, although I will give you your new skill, Denim, uh, right there, and, uh, you can also have Mighty Impact as well, since you actually use swords. So, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And we, we did get some equipment and stuff, right? Is any of that better than what I currently have? Um, yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't, I don't believe so. Yeah, I, th I think it's mostly just generic stuff we got. If I had gotten the circlet, I would have had another one of those, but... Yeah. Alrighty. I think we'll just, uh... We'll just, uh, move ahead then, why don't we? Well, that was cool that we got that cutscene. White limestone formation is just like teeth from the top of... A uh, jut-like teeth, just from the top of this gentle, grassy hill. It's not about to be gentle. About to be a place where we do battle. Before entering battle, you must use which units to deploy. Units being sent to battle are called the battle party. The battle party can contain up to 12 units. Wow, that's a lot more than tactics. This may be different on certain battlefields. Interesting. Okay, and we can kind of place them in the order that we want here. So, um, yeah, and then we select the slot and we put who we want to put there. Okay, you're my archer, so no, no. Sure, Derwin, get up there. And then let's put uh, the archer, like, right here. 
mage like right here, and then the uh, healer back here. Looks good to me. Deployed slots. All right, we're good. We're good. And you can sort people by class and race. Interesting. Yeah, so it's not... It's actually three different, like, uh, or rather four different, like, races, different kingdoms. Interesting, because they specifically referred to the Wallister as a different race, and was talking about how, um, Galgastani tried to genocide them, and then just put them into a little, here's, here's your little area that you can stay in. And, oof, I really hate Galgastani. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna get reasons to hate, like, all of these places by the end of this, but... Sure you wanna use this battle party? Yeah, that looks good to me. Pine Mouth Hill. Oh yeah, now this is a familiar looking one. Here? Then our Morica has fallen for true. Oh wow, since you were just kind of a generic character, I did not expect you to actually have voice acting, Orba. Reinforcements for their kinsmen we've pinned down in Chrysara. Make peace with the light, Wallace the Swine! To dare you die! Canopus! You looked a lonely lot. Thought I might join you. Please do. I am Canopus. Step forward and meet your fate, dogs. I love Canopus. Canopus is just a badass. Alright. Vanquish Orba. Interesting. We, we haven't had very many defeat all enemy prompts. So, since we don't have a lot to defeat all enemy prompts, and it seems like we get the same amount of XP... Um, no matter what in the battle, I don't know if it actually adjusts. Ooh. Okay, so we can switch to a vertical? That's interesting. Um, we can turn it. We can kind of turn it these ways. I was hoping we could do the, the thing where you, like, turn the screen around in, uh, FFT. Like, whoa. That thing. But, uh, it doesn't look like we can. Um, I can, of course, just do this. So... Um, let's... Let's move over here and see what some of these units got, yeah? Alwyn! Okay, so swords and pincer attack. Bows. Pretty basic stuff so far. Orba. Uh, that's a new thing I've never seen before. What is that? Paralytic Wave. Indirect dark spell that stuns multiple targets with coils of dark energy. Please don't. Could you just not? Instead? skills. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I didn't buy, um... I forgot to buy new equipment before this battle. Um, I think I could have bought new equipment and stuff from, uh, the castle. Whoopsie doopsie. Um, maybe I should just leave the battle and do that really quickly? Um, can you just, like, exit battle? Return to title, quick save, exit game. Yeah, there's no, like, leave battle. Alright, we'll just do this battle, and then, um, I'll probably go get some equipment. Because uh, I think since I'm work as friendly now, I could have went there and bought some equipment and stuff. Um, but yeah, we did not. Alright, I'm sure we can do it without better equipment for now. So, move. Advance. We gotta get up there. Canopus has already started. Thrown the first salvo, drawn first blood. Katrina, what is your range? We gotta learn the range of these archers. That's a short bow range. Uh, I'm guessing we have access to long bows at some point too. Can you do like the crazy arcing shit that they do in FFT? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. So yeah, spear, cast stones, and then you also have access to heal and lightning bow. Um, but you need MP for that. This is a Wallister fight. We need no help from you. Vice, shut up. Stubborn as ever, eh? How did one so young grow so thick of skull? Drank a lot of milk. Thick! I'll give you thick! <laughs> I can't help but think... I can't help but think of the, the new age version of thick, which is like having a big ass and thighs. <laughs> I think that's what Vice is gonna do. Oh god! Ow, not the wings! Yeah! Vice, control yourself! Yes, seriously, Vice, you hot-headed bastard. You can now use the Chariot Tarot. During battle, the game keeps track of the actions you take each turn. Chariot Tarot allows you to return to any of the previous turns and replay the battle from that point. 
This alternate version of events is stored separately from the original, so you're free to choose the most favorable course. The number of turns tracked and times they can be replayed varies depending on the battle, so be sure to keep this in mind. Access the Chariot Tarot by choosing Chariot Tarot from the global menu. That is an interesting idea. When it said Tarot, I thought it was going to be like the uh, cards and triangle strategy that you could play. That I always forgot to play. But just being able to return to previous turn, that's interesting. That'll make some of these battles way easier, I'm sure. Because we can kind of just, you know, instead of doing trial and error, um, we can kind of jump in and be like, ah, that didn't work out. Well, no, we'll, we'll still be doing trial and error, but it'll be trial and error with much less penalty for error. So you don't have any, like, buffs. Yeah. No, no protect or shell or anything. Owie. See, Vice, that's what happens when you just walk up like a fool. Um, so what's your range, friend? Okay, you can hit this character. Yeah. Dead shots. Oh, God. Okay, so we're dealing with... Okay. We weren't hitting that character. We were hitting my rune fencer friend. Okay, so we are dealing with, um, line of sight issues as well. Um... I'm not used to magic having line of sight issues. Um, I'm used to bows having line of sight issues. So like, basically, if you're using a weapon and one of your allies is standing right in front of you, you can't just shoot them instead of your target. Um, I might not have been paying attention to the accuracy there, but in tactics, it tells you there's a 0% chance of hitting your target because it's going to hit the target in front of you. Um, so, yeah, that's going to take some getting used to. You also don't have to charge for magic, which is interesting. I mean, you do in a way, because you have to wait to get MP, but that is interesting. Uh-huh. Looks good to me. Yeah. All right, my rune fencer. Maybe, maybe you can do better. So, I gotta... So do I, do I actually need clear line of sight to hit with some magic here? Like... Okay, and... Ooh, I need to find out the weaknesses again. Who's weak to what? Is there is there something like that in the menu? Like the global menu that it mentions? Um... Friendly unit, chariot tarot, terms of victory, HP bars, camera, current speed. Uh... System menu? Is it like in tutorials or something? No. Okay, I need to get a refresher on what's weak against what. Okay, for, so I got it pulled up. <clears throat> Uh, here. So, wind beats earth, earth beats lightning, lightning beats water, water beats fire, which is self-explanatory, fire beats ice. Okay, so water, ice, and fire are pretty self-explanatory. Wind, earth, and lightning is where things get more confusing for me. And apparently light and dark are both good against the other. Yeah. Okay, so... If we have a lightning attack, we want to hit someone with water elemental. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, sometimes the elements can be weird um, in things. Like Tim Tim and stuff swaps it up, uh, separate from like the normal Pokemon logic. But uh, yeah, here it seems like a lot of the time we're just using Pokemon logic, which makes things easier. So um, yeah, we have no one that's water around here that I can see. Yeah, just a bunch of fire. We actually need water. Magic. Okay. Well. Um, so... Perfect time to find out. Can you attack diagonals? No, you cannot. So, if you can't attack diagonally, we are gonna be doing this. The other question I have is, can you stab through and hit both? I am just attacking from the front right here, though. Um... Ooh, I don't really want to send you too far in there, though. Just hit him with a lightning bow. Okay, yeah, I think it told me. Yeah, it told me right here. It still said I had, like, a, a chance to hit this enemy, but it shows that the line stops right here at Canopus. So that's... I need to watch out for that. Um, alrighty. Good to know. Good to know. Um, so that'll just hit you. This will hit you. Sure. Lightning bow. And you're lightning averse now. Fantastic. Now go ahead and sit back there and meditate, Orba. for Wallace Durana. Where does it lead? What's the matter? Lose your nerve? Or has the nagging of your pacifist sister unmanned you? Always hiding behind her skirts. You're kind of a dick, Vice. 
thick of skull and a bully besides. That's enough squawking out of you, Birdman. Jesus. Oh my Better god! A bird than a brute. <laughs> Vice is such a little shit. No. Ugh. You're not men. You're children. I don't know. I'm on Canopus's side here. He has had th two stones thrown at him by this dick. Also called him Birdman. <laughs> Skill level up. Congratulations, you asshole. <laughs> I also noticed in this game, our HP values are just a lot higher um, than I'm used to. That's another difference. So, I mean, I could throw a stone, no real point. Automatically store, uh, score crits. Don't need to be doing that right now. Um, yeah, we do just have a ton of HP, us and enemies alike. Um, so we are hitting slightly higher from, straight from the get. But, uh, that is something to get used to. Um, yeah. I need, I need movement. I need battle boots. I need battle boots bad. Eh. Oh, you parried my rock. No. Yeah, Vice, see what happens when you just run in like an idiot? I say as I ran into two enemies, but it was a calculated thing. Let me tell you a thing or two about battle, Dylan. Clear the wax from your ears and listen. Kind of kind of busy right now, but okay. The key is to divide and conquer. Yeah. Whether you face a fearsome giant or a timid dormouse, that's the way it's done. This is true, this is true. Or you can just bum rush the enemy you gotta defeat for the battle, the mage back there, and just hope it works out. Focus your attacks on one enemy at a time, and you'll emerge the victor. This is true. Sometimes you need to plug some enemies before they get to your other allies, though. Alright, Selfina. Um, go ahead and move you right there. We can drop a heal on uh, Derwin here. There you are. Bonus objective complete. What? There's bonus objectives? Excuse me? Tell him. Sibyls and mages cannot withstand the withering attacks of the front lines. Keep us in the back. Where we can support our warriors from afar, be mindful of the enemy's position, and bring us no closer than need be. Use a bird's eye view if you're unsure of the distance. Yeah, we know. Big heels. Okay, so is there is there a place I can look at these optional objectives? Um, terms of victory. Oh, bonus objectives here. Win with a cleric in the battle party. Our hero cannot die, at least one of your units must survive in Vanquish Orba. Okay, so we get a water charge. Okay, so I really need to keep an eye out for these bonus objectives, because that just gave me a thing. Which seems like it would probably raise the power of water attacks or increase my resistance, one of those. Okay. So... Um, we can move to a better spot here, and then I can stab you. Okay, and I even though I didn't okay, so even though I didn't select that square I still tried to hit my ally there um, I'm pretty sure I just selected the square right in front of me, but it hit both So uh, you can't kind of control the distance like you can in tactics All right, cool. Good to know. Gotta watch out for that We're learning we're learning um, Can you get up there and Hit him with another dead shot. So you are air. Um, air was good against earth. So do we have an earth? We have fires. So I need water. Whatever. Um, let's hit you, Vinegar. Air reverse. Alrighty. Go ahead and do this. Short bow. So can I... Okay, it doesn't say it's going to hit either of you. I'm going to be like... It's going to graze Derwin's ear. Er, er, yeah, it's gonna graze Derwin's arm and going to, like, maybe cut off Vice's ear, which, you know, if that happens, oh well. There we go. And I got the stuff. Leather gloves. So I'll be able to sell all of this stuff for some good cash in a minute. Okay, you're advancing over here. Gonna have to ask you to not do that. Boom. Turn down there. Denim, yeah, you're in a bit of a sticky situation, aren't you? 
I really need you over here with more allies. So, can, can you attack and then move? I'm guessing so, yes? Yes. Okay. You can't attack and then move. And, like, you know, th this is not even the similar type of game, but in Mario Mario plus Rabbids that I'm playing right now, you can't attack and move, so I just wanna... Just wanna confirm. So we can do... We can do hit and run strats in this. Well, you can do it, but you have to have a certain ability on a certain character. Owie. Skill level One up. One more piece of advice, Denim. If you come across a blue card on the field, be sure to pick it up. Ooh, triple triad? I'm down for some triple triad. These can provide a boon to aid you for the rest of the battle. Stronger attacks, more critical strikes, and the like. But a single unit can only benefit from four of these boons at once. So mind who you give them to. Oh, and keep away from the red cards. These will wipe out any boons you've already picked up. You might want to try knocking your enemies into those. Hm. Green cards raise a unit's core attributes, and the best part is they keep the bonus even after the battle ends. Ooh. Take a close look at each card before someone picks it up to gauge its effect. There are many kinds, and it doesn't pay to go wasting them on the wrong soldier. Ooh, okay, that seems like a big deal. Okay. Um, well, what is this card's effect? Physical card. Increases physical attack. Effect ends when card's destroyed. Okay, the green ones are the permanent things. That's what we need to look out for here. Um, alright, let's go ahead and move with you. Um, who needs to heal the most? Honestly, Denim. So... Or no, you need it a lot, actually. Kashua. Yeah, let's give it to Kashua. Beautiful. And Vice is going to get killed by the mage, because Vice is a doof. So you might want to extend battles as long as possible, because it might mean the more of the cards will spawn, which means you might get a green card. So this this kind of reminds me of the... Um, this is like the unique thing for this game, it seems. Um, it reminds me of the gems that people dropped, where you could get abilities and tactics. Um, and stuff like that. Also, you know, it, it's like a, it's a gimmick. Uh, a lot of these games have to have their own little gimmick. This Gaia has, like, geo panels and stuff. So this is this game's gimmick, these little cards here. Interesting. It is different. It's not something I'm used to. Uh, alright. Physical attack, huh? And next in line is you. Um... I don't know if I want my archer going up there, so I think I will send you to grab that. Um, so let's do this, yeah? And then, I can't reach you, you're too close, yeah. I guess I'm just gonna have to shoot you. No real other good options here. Bing. I could have shot before I moved, but... Alright, so let's move you... Um, first... Let's pokey poke you. Hmm... Yeah, because the next one that's moving is an enemy and they could steal my thing. So I gotta grab that this turn. For sure. I would like to kill that enemy back there, but this is the best option I got to also grab the card so they don't get it. Got it! Plus physical. Um, ooh, not a really good spot to put myself here. We're kind of in the thick of it. You're going after my mages and stuff. How rude. Uh, this will probably kill you, because then I'm strong? Yes. Bye-bye, Goddard. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have put you back there. I meant to put it to the wall. My bad. Uh, that is... Auto-skill card. Auto-skill? Oh, does that mean your auto-skill goes off as soon as you walk on that? For free? Ooh, that could be useful. So, you're the one that's moving next. So, if you're the one that's moving next, I should block you from being able to get to this card. Actually, I don't think you'd be able to reach it. Never mind, then. Let's just go over here. If that if that card does what I'm imagining it does, then, um... Yeah, we can just be like... I'll give it to my mages, probably? They're the only... Or my mage. They're the only one that has a auto skill, as far as I remember. Alright, Canopus is going for the, the big bad, so we gotta, we gotta get over here and start, um, 
taking some enemies out. To get some drops and stuff. Like, I can make the fights go faster by just bum-rushing the boss, but... Um, that also means... That... Ooh, I can't reach you. That also means that, um... I won't get as many drops and things like that. Oh, I can't hit you from there. Here? There we go. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Beautiful. Yeah, it seems like we don't get XP depending on how many units we kill, so... Um, that's a whole thing. Uh, let's move... Let's actually shoot from right here. You're done. Ooh, never mind, you parried it. Okay. Let's grab that crossbow. Okay. I didn't really like crossbows in, um... Tactics, but we will see how they are here. Uh, let's just get a few stabbies. I haven't seen one of the green ones yet. So that'll do 84 damage, because you have that physical up. That would do 45. So yeah, obviously your, your magic's a bit weaker than, like, a mage's. But, uh, it gives you some versatility, so... But that physical attack, quite scary. Parried again, huh? What's that, uh... What's the parry chance, I wonder? Um... Let's just go over here and get this. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. I like the look of that. Other gloves. Uh, we can just start advancing on you. There's not very many enemies left back there, so... Uh, can't hit you with a stone. It's fine. It's one damage. That's mostly just for knocking people into things, I imagine. Owie. Owie. Uh, well, we need some heals. Desperately. Yeah, you're in a bit of a hairy position, Miles. There you are. We'll be ending it soon, though, so it doesn't really matter. Meditate. And yeah, so... Yeah, I'm imagining that's what that does. Auto skill card. You just use it for free. So, we'll just keep that in mind. I can't reach it right now because uh, my mage's movement is poopy, but... Bang! There we go. Wonderful. Um... You can kind of move up here and attack the mage. Yeah, still have yet to see one of the green arrows. That's a lot of damage, actually. Um, kind of feel the need to lengthen the battle a little bit to see if we can get one of those green ones to appear. I don't know. These cards are definitely going to play an important part, though. Let's just find out what this does. Skill trigger. Does it make it go faster? I thought it was just going to, as soon as I picked it up, my auto skill would go off. But I don't have an auto skill, so... Okay, I don't think we're gonna get any greens this fight. Thank you for grabbing the stuff. Sticker. Okay, cool. We don't really need to do anything with you. Sparkosphere, yeah. These, these early battles are quite easy, so... Let's just go ahead and finish you off. Bang. And... Bang. Goodbye, Orba. No place to die. This. Well, you shouldn't have fought me. What happened to all that die Wallister scum? <sighs> bonus objective complete. <clears throat> there we go. I like bonus objectives. That's cool. Experience charm. Yeah, see, bronze oberiths. I knew I had some. I, th I was calling them Oberons, Oberiths. So it's, yeah, it's probably just a currency left over from the, the old United Kingdom. Blessing Stone, Mage's Mark, Experience Charm, Circlet. That Experience Charm sounds fun. I wonder if it's like, it seems like it's, it's an accessory, right? They're probably just boost XP earned. But uh, I also like the idea of it just flat out giving a certain character some XP. Total XP? That's a lot of XP. Uh-huh. It is spread out between many different characters now, though, to be fair. So, yeah, that makes sense. Alrighty, there we go. Beautiful. Skills, finishing moves. 
Boom. Okay. So we got uh, Selfina can now meditate, Kashua can now meditate, and um, Derwin has a magical accuracy increasing thing or something? Canopus wants to join the party. Hell yes! Sure you want to recruit this unit? Hell yes! Thank you. The charm command has been added to the unit info screen in the party menu. Charms can be given to give units experience points or change their elements. Ah, okay, so yeah, it is, it is like a consumable thing. Interesting, interesting, not what I would have imagined. Um, so, consumables. It was, it was its own page, right? Yeah, charms. Change the unit's element to water. And just straight up give a unit XP. I mean, I like the idea of getting denim higher. Denim seems pretty strong. So, let's see here. Um, let's take a peek at my stats, actually. What do your stats look like? You you seem like you hit harder than everyone else. Um, so we got... Range is obviously down. Melee damage is high. Magic damage is low. Melee defense and magic defense. And then, yeah, it seems like you have... A lot of this is probably determined by your class as well, but... I don't know what the averages would be, so it's hard for me to compare you to other characters, but... Like, you have higher strength and vitality than vice, but slightly lower agility. You actually have more dexterity, interestingly enough. Um, vice has more avoid, which is... I'm guessing that's avoid, it's probably just dodge chance. Vice has more int. I don't believe you. I have more mind, though. <laughs> and resistance. Okay, um... You know, I mean, just so I don't forget about him, I'll just go ahead and use it on... Well, I don't know if we need it right now, really. Because our level cap is 5, and we're probably going to be hitting that soon, yeah? Yeah, maybe maybe we hold off on that. It might be a waste right now. Maybe I save that for times when, you know, we would need to be grinding. Um, alrighty, so you two need new skills um, equipped. So, meditate. Um... And you have Tremendous Shot. Oh, I didn't equip that. We'll see. Uh, automatic crits. Okay, so it's that thing. Uh, MP. And then you got Concentration. Grant Spell Strike to the caster. I don't know what that means, but we're going to put it on. I don't know what it means, but we're going to put it on. Cool. And then, yeah, we can level up the skills themselves, which uh, we have seen as well. That's an interesting idea. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah, that looks good to me. Canopus, you have anything interesting here? Nope. Uh, okay. Well, with that, um, why don't we go back to Almorica and buy some things? Good day. Hello, young master. Do you have any coins? That's what we do with them. Okay, so yeah, you can turn them, yeah, in. It's like selling fodder, basically. Okay, cool. Well, now I have even more money. Auction? Have a monster you want to put up for auction? Changing your equipment? Do, do they have the fitting room in this? Um, is the fitting room a thing? Equipment, da 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 da, da. I don't know if it is. Alright, bye. Uh, so we already have that, we already have that. A broadsword. Now, can I... See, this is what I... I want to see the stat changes for various characters. That's mostly what I want to see here. Um, and I'm unsure of how to do that. Oh my god, we have a blowgun? Okay. Yeah, the broadsword. It's a two-handed weapon. I just want to see... Sell, hire, auction, unit list. Is it here that I can just... Equipment. And then I can choose... No, not really. I was hoping I could choose stuff that's currently in the shop to place here. But, uh, I don't know that I can. Um... Yeah, it doesn't seem like the fitting room is a thing, unless I'm just missing it somewhere. Uh, okay. That would make things easier, but... Let's just check some things out here. I mean, the, the rod sword is two-handed, so I imagine it's pretty good. One-handed hammer used to break blocks. And then we can look. Battle ability is parry. Yeah. Counter attack is your battle ability. <clears throat> hmm. 
Okay, hand axe, Sybil staff. It's also, can we see who, if we already have this equipped on characters? Or am I just gonna have to keep track of this stuff? It might not have very many good uh, things that are straight up better in here. Look on used by young hunters of the Gurgish tribe on the Isle of Bobo. So, attack 30. Hmm. Okay, we can't even equip that right now. We don't have a class for that. Interesting. Crossbow, yeah. Buckler robe, leather armor, warrior's rings, defender's rings. Now this might be some things like I want. Increased attack, increased defense. Slightly raises defense and stuff, okay. And then we have a bunch of different types of spells. And still air, an indirect air spell that draws power from the air experience to get air touch and air attuned to a single target. I don't know what that means. Triggers automatically. That sounds cool. I have a bunch of money, so. Um, instill lightning. Let's get let's get all of the things here that we can. Okay, then we have Spirit Surge, a missile divine spell that unleashes divine power, dealing piercing light damage to a single target. Okay, an attack for them. Has a chance to inflict light averse. Yeah, give me two of those. Instill light, awaken, heal. <clears throat> Yeah, I want to get all the instill things. They seem cool. Alrighty. So, we got some Arcana. And then we have a bunch of healing items here. Mend Leaf, Better Mend Leaf. A bunch of Cure things. Hobble and Leaden. Strengthen a single target. Fortify, Spellcraft, Healcraft, Resilience, True Strike, Dodge. True Flight, Sidestep, Spell Strike, Weaken, Breach, Spoils... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy wow. Okay, we got a lot of status effects uh, inflicting things here. Interesting. Okay, um, I think I'll look into this, like the armor situation, a little bit more off screen, um, and we'll buy some new stuff next time. But uh, for now, I think we're gonna go ahead and end it off here. Hopefully they have a fitting room or something, or I'm just gonna have to take avid notes about what my current equipment on all my characters is and everything, so. Alrighty, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Tactics Ogre, and I'll see you next time for some more.